Hi viewers, I've now had the Autel Maxi Pro MP808 TS for over 6 months. Today I'm going to be doing a 6 months plus review, giving you my take on this device. After having it for over 6 months, I've scanned a ton of vehicles, different makes, different manufacturers. I've had some time to really try out the features of this tool. I also cover the service menu. Some of the comments from the earlier review video that I did were that I didn't cover the service menu. I'm going to be briefly covering the service menu in this video and then giving you my thoughts on this device after six months now let's get this just to quickly review the service menu this is essentially where you run a lot of service functions on the vehicle for example if you want to reset the oil light adjust the electronic parking brake you do it from here battery management system brake bleeding diesel particulate filter program keys i'm going to turn off the light just so it's a bit clearer yeah. Turn off injectors by cylinder, you know, when you're troubleshooting injector issues. Steering angle sensor calibration, suspension calibration, ride height calibration, and throttle plate adjustment, window, door, roof, seats adjustment. This odometer has really been good. And on some vehicles, you're able to show where they've done an odometer rollback. You're able to show that. I was recently checking out a used vehicle and I was able to detect that the odometer had been rolled back so nice feature to have change the language headlamps adjustment uh, change tire size you want to move to a higher tire size or you know adjust the tire size of your vehicle some service functions with the clutch adaptations for the transmission of course this doesn't cover all the cars but um, decent spread of cars you're able to do transmission adaptation on airbag resets abs srs cylinder power balance test turbo if you want to relearn the vgt actuator air fuel setting and so on so that's pretty much the service menu of course every single vehicle is not going to have all of this available it depends on what your vehicle supports so and just to show you battery management system a fair amount of vehicles supported yeah, that's the service menu. You've seen a lot of the videos that I've done on this device. So a ton of active tests that it has available. You know, many more that I'm going to be exploring in other videos. By and large, this has been a very good buy, right? If I were given the opportunity, I'll still buy this tool again. I've run lots of scans, which I can show you from the history here. Different vehicles. So it goes on to arrange things well. Um, let me see. Ford Edge, Honda, Ford Edge. So I did scan a 2011 Mercedes-Benz, ton of codes that it had. It arranges everything nicely for you. I'll leave a link in the description just in case you would want to get this. If I were to take a knock or to take stars out of my review for this tool, it's going to be on the amount of time it takes to connect to a vehicle. Obviously, it depends on the OBD protocol. Older protocols will take longer, but if I were to take away stars from it, sometimes it takes a bit long, you know, to connect to vehicles. That's really not so much of a problem. This is me being picky. One thing I like about it, I haven't seen any function that it advertised that it doesn't do. I've used this to do calibrations on a Lexus. So very good tool if you're wondering whether you should get this and you're a shop. Except if you want to cover like advanced ECU coding. It does do ECU coding to some extent. Except if you want to handle ECU programming then definitely. This doesn't support a pass-through device. So if you want to handle ECU programming you would need something more. But this has been excellent for me. Another good feature of this tool. Updates. Autel is pretty quick with updates. I have so much pending updates. Although a lot of them are for vehicles that are used in China, which to be honest, I, I don't intend to update those ones like, you know, Proton or like this brand that I don't really know. But you get updates very frequently, almost like on a weekly basis. They keep on adding new capabilities, which just ends up making the tool even better. Like for this one, this is a system update. So adding new functions, as you can see, this update just came out two days ago. So very solid tool. 
very solid tool. Just in case you want the more detailed review, you can check out the previous video that I did. One on the device in general and the second one on the TPMS capabilities of the device. Feel free to ask me any questions on this device. I'm willing to do any test that is within my reach. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If this has been helpful, do like, share and subscribe to the channel. And thank you very much. Peace out. See you on the next one. Cheers.